if anyone knew what the revolution was about, other than John Adams, it was George Washington who risked everything, lost roughly 50% of his net worth during that revolution, spent in the entire eight and a half years, I believe one night, one night in his own bed at Mount Vernon. Um, Washington wrote at the end of the war, 1783, to a group of German Calvinists, <clears throat> The establishment of civil and religious liberty was the motive which induced me to the field of battle. Why did I fight? Not merely for civil liberty, not merely so that I didn't have to pay three pence on the pound for tea or something like that. I fought for principle, and he says, and I fought for religious liberty. Civil and religious liberty, they always went together in the minds of the, the American revolutionaries. So what was it about uh, this particular brand of colonial religion? that led to these impressions of Americans and Britons? And in what ways did religion affect political culture specifically? Charles Ingalls, who was rector of Trinity Church in New York City, noted that, quote, it is absolutely certain that on the part of many, the present is a religious war. The revolution is a religious war. 